Hey, welcome back. We're going to have a look at some more action figures from the Star Wars Power of the Force 2 toy line from the 1990s. These are three and three quarter inch scale. And this is another uh, Cinema Scenes three pack that's probably a store exclusive. I cannot remember which store. But these are the uh, Job of the Hut Skiff Guards. And uh, if memory serves, their names are Klaatu, Barada, and Nikto. I don't know which is which. Uh, that is actually from a movie called The Day the Earth Stood Still. You might say, no, it's not. That's from Army of Darkness. They, they took it from The Day the Earth st Stood Still, and so did George Lucas. So uh, uh, watch some old movies. Come on. Now, uh, I don't, again, I don't know which is which. Uh, these were packaged on a base that kind of looks like the, uh, a bridge with the railing of one of the, uh, the desert skiffs from Return of the Jedi, the Battle of the, the Dune Sea. And their weapons were rubber banded into their hands, and those rubber bands had deteriorated and rotted. And there's probably still some of the residue from those rubber bands on their hands. The plastic these are made with or is an inferior plastic to the normal carded figures. I'm convinced Hasbro never intended us to open these and play with them and discover that fact for ourselves. Uh, it's on brand for Hasbro to do something like that. I mean, we have to admit. But uh, let's just go ahead and start looking at these. Um, now, I think these look really good, the sculpting and the paint applications for, from that standpoint. Uh, I'm pretty sure all three of these were created for uh, the, the, Kenter, the Kenner Vintage Star Wars line. Uh, the articulation is, is pretty good on these, actually. Uh, moving the legs on this specimen or on this particular figure is tough because of the skirt he's wearing there. Neat weapon, some sort of vibro lance or vibro halberd or something. Uh, we've got standard articulation. Just keep in mind the arms are, and legs are a little gummier on these than they would be on the standard carded uh, figures. I think that looks really good. If you if you got a Return of the Jedi collection, I mean, this is you could do worse. I mean, these I, I like this bandana he's wearing. That's that's just really really cool. Nice paint applications around the face. Good sculpting. Articulation is fine. Okay. Did I get all the rubber band residue off this one? It looks like I did. Okay. And then we'll move on to this one. I think this one might be Barada. Uh, but don't hold me to that. And uh, again, excellent paint applications. Uh, that's not, I mean, that's supposed to look like that. This isn't a used specimen. This came sealed in a box. And uh, they just did a good job with the paint apps. The uh, sort of wearing Han Solo's pants there, wouldn't you agree? I like those big tall boots. Uh, this one's also wearing a bandana. Also wearing a, a neat little baldric and a little fanny pack back here. Hey, it's all good. And it, it, it articulation is fine, but again, rather rubbery joints. Uh, if you find these loose, don't be surprised that they're sticky, okay? Especially if they uh, have rubber bands around their hands for, for years and they didn't bother to take the rubber bands off and they took them out of the package. Even the sleeve of the pirate shirt here looks pretty worn. I think they did a good job with this one as far as the paint goes. A new blaster we haven't seen before. That looks really cool. And I'm pretty sure that's Barada. But again, I don't know Klaatu or Nikto. I think they're all three Klaatuians. That's the alien species. I think that's the case. And here's the third one. Um... Pretty sure this one gets sawed in half by Luke Skywalker with a lightsaber, if I'm not mistaken. But um, yeah, you can see sort of the dirt or the sand on the the uh, the, the sleeves. I don't like sand; it's coarse and it gets everywhere and it's dirty and gritty. And uh, let's see. Yep, we've got swivel. We've got head articulation there, and uh, another sort of vibro axe or vibro pike or vibro blade of some kind. Very stylized. I can't do much with it. I mean, the way, this one's not sculpted to dual wield it, Got to, or even hold it for that matter. So excuse me while I bend over to pick this up. Oh, and I th might might do better in the other hand, but there we go. It's fine. Uh, yeah, as a toy, this one's pretty good. I like the sort of a bomber's cap, fighter pilot's cap there that's stylized. Um, yeah, they did a good job with these. I just wish they used a better quality plastic. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with these. So I think at this point, with one exception, we've seen all the Cinema Scenes 3-packs from The Power of the Force 2. Uh, the only one I still haven't obtained is the uh, final Jedi duel, and that's uh, Darth Vader, Palpatine, and Luke Skywalker. Palpatine 
sits on a throne in that. It's hardly an action figure. His hands might move. But it's a, a Jedi Knight, Luke Skywalker, and Darth Vader from the, you know, the, the, the Death Star throne room duel. That's what's going on there. Uh, that's not going to be hard to find. I just haven't found it for five bucks each. Five bucks per figure yet. Once I do, we'll pick that up and we'll have a look at that too. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not paying high prices for these. And I've done quite well. I've got over, I don't know how many. I mean, pals, we can do a quick look here. And let me pause the camera for a moment. Okay, notwithstanding the few I've got up on the top shelf for now for reasons. Uh, we got this shelf completely full. I think there's... Uh, do the math. Uh, you can probably uh, work that out yourselves. And then the second shelf we're filling up as well. I still have the third shelf. It's got accessories and extra stuff on it right now. But still plenty of room for more Power of the Force 2 figures here. And not that many more to obtain. We're over the hump. We're well over the hump here. Okay, I'm trying to pause the camera so we can put it back on the tripod and, and complete this uh, video. Well, that was a fun little field trip. So I'll end here. Uh, there's still plenty of figures to review that are still on another shelf waiting to be reviewed. I'm going to have to go back up and make another list to make sure I remember whether these are from the Flashback series or the uh, Comtech series. And once I do that, we'll have a reviews of those as well. It could be months for me. It could be three or four days for you because uh, FYI, it's like the beginning of October 2023 here and now. Lord only knows when you'll see this. I've got so many of these saved up uh, to uh, upload. Um, I should probably think about backing up all these reviews on a memory stick. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do tonight. Okay. Pals, thank you so much for watching. May the Force be with you, and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.